Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Lois and welcome back to Project Ozone 2. In the last episode, we were working on... Uh, let's see, what were we doing? We were finishing up the farming station. Uh, this guy, who is working um, currently... Uh, I had to do some stuff, but currently uh, he has some 222s. Two, two, let's see, what do we have? 322, 222, 222... Two, 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 two three four so it is slowly progressing um it'll get there and everything will be good so between episodes i went ahead and i made a bunch of um well i made as much vibrant and energetic alloys as i could um because we are really low on glowstone i also did a thing uh i made some compressed cobblestone and pounded it down into dust and sand and gravel so we have a good supply of that i'm actually going to turn the dust on so to try to get some more glowstone in case we need it. Uh, glowstone is by far the the biggest thing we need. So something we might want to look into is glowstone seeds. What do these require? Crucio uh, and niter wort. I believe we have the niter wort seeds. Uh, we might want to make a second uh, set of that, but um. Like, we might want to duplicate these seeds just so we have the Niter Wart as well, but otherwise, yeah, we can we can do this. So, um, we do need Glowstone below, and I don't know what the, like, actual requirements are for these guys. We do have a little bit of Glowstone uh, in there. Uh, I have been basically farming up whatever mobs I can out of this guy. Um, killing the creepers from a distance so they don't explode. I'm waiting for some endermen. But unfortunately, I haven't got any endermen yet. Um, so hopefully we can deal with that here soon. Uh, I don't know why I did it this way, but I did. So we're going to get a couple sets of the uh, nighter works. Do I not have any crop sticks? Hmm. Oh, well, I have some wood right here. So we'll make some sticks. And there is exact number of crop sticks that we need. No, it's not. What am I talking about? We need more wood. Uh, but that's going to be solved today because we are going to be making the inventory panel. Uh, which is a pretty... Pretty... Uh, well, it's a pretty low-tech applied energistic system. As you guys will see very soon. Um, but we need to do some stuff before we can get to that. Uh, and glowstone is going to be something we're gonna need a lot of so um if we can make the glowstone seeds that would be kind of amazing honestly other than just trying to get the uh the niter wart so there's that one and that one cool that's all we needed so now we have a bunch of niter wart and pick all that up all right so that can go in there um, we're going to keep one of the niter warts on us, and I'll put the other two in here. And we have a little bit more glowstone. I think what else are we going to need for this? So we need four glowstone. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, Minicio and... The... Four Crucio, I believe. One, two, three, four. Yep. Alright, so we just need some Minicio seeds, which... I believe it's just a matter of coming over here and dropping that in. Alright, so that, that, those things and all that. And there we go. So that is going to go off. Uh, let's go grab real quick just a little bit of the, uh, what is it called? The, the Blacker Lotuses. We have well over a stack, so I think before next episode... Wow, that was really quick. Uh, I think before next episode, I want to go ahead and get... Um, basically... All of the Terra Steel we need for the rest of... Um, I'm going to get a bunch of Terra Steel, I should say. Um, at least to get the last Infusion Stone. Um, because if we make one more of these, we can infuse it into the Extreme. And then that's it. We can get the Zavisio and go from there. Uh, so... 
There we go. There's glowstone seeds. I will grow those as needed. Uh, we also have the die seeds, which is really nice as well. And yeah. So I'm going to throw this in here. Uh, we're going to keep the cleaver on us. We need to mark off on our clipboard that we have glowstone. And yeah. So let's get into some more stuff. Um, today, like I said, I want to start working towards getting the uh, the inventory panel. Uh, I want to get the inventory panel. Panel. There's some other stuff that I want to look at, such as the experience obelisk. This thing is a lot harder to make than I thought it was going to be. Okay, that's not that bad. Uh, magical wood is easy enough. Okay, so that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, but I do believe that is a quest. Uh, the reason I want to... Yes, experience obelisk right here. Uh, the reason why I want to go ahead and make that is because um, I have 50 levels on me, and I really prefer not to lose that. There is another witch. I want to go grab that. Uh, that's why I was carrying around the uh, soul vial. I was waiting for another witch to spawn so I could just come over here and capture him. Uh, we're going to need a witch today and, and a soul vial uh, for one of the things, but we don't have the other part that we need. So that's a bummer. Uh, we'll deal with it here soon. Anyways, uh, so in order to make the inventory panel, we're going to need a lot of vibrant alloy. I should have enough for all that. We're also going to need an enderman head, and unfortunately, we don't have that. Uh, we're also going to need some solarium. That's pretty easy. Uh, at this point so yeah and then this is just more vibrant alloy some lapis and an emerald that's easy but we're also going to need a lot of these remote awareness upgrades we're going to need a decent number of these and they require a conduit binder and silicon is easy uh, we just make clay and grind that down and we get plenty of that and electrical steel and dries are easy enough but the conduit binder requires salt dust and clay so Salt is annoying to make um, because if we look at the recipe, it is water with a with the uh, the pot from Pam's Harvest Craft, or there's some other ways to get it. But really, the this is the way you want to get it because water is renewable and all it is is just crafting. But it takes forever, so let's speed it up. Uh, we're gonna make a kitchen today, so uh, we are going to need the sink. Which is pretty easy to make. Uh, just some wood. All right, let's let's just go over to the other side. Uh, we are going to need an Enderman today, but um, pretty much whenever we want that, we can go ahead and make it. As you can see, I've expanded the the uh, quartz. I took this down to a stack, and it's almost hardy halfway full again. So that tells you how much uh, quartz we're getting now. Uh, so. One other thing that I want to talk about real quick is um, where I have all these signs. Some of these signs are gonna, going to be correct. Uh, like sifting is going to stay here. We're going to have some uh, auto uh, crushing for all this stuff and, and basically getting all the stuff that we need. Um, power is going to be here for the time being until we expand um, with whatever whatever power source we end up using. Um, but like I have up here, uh, smeltery right here. I don't know if I'm going to put a smeltery there. Uh, I haven't decided. I'm going to put the kitchen over here, I think. Um, but then like machines are here. Machines are here for now. Um, I want to have a, a dedicated platform to machines. So this is going to be the mobs. Uh, I'll have like Batania one direction. I'll have like teleportation another direction. Uh, with machines and all sorts of stuff. So, um, eventually we'll kind of switch a lot of that stuff around and where things are going. And I'll have to decide a lot of it kind of kind of as I go. So, that's, yeah, that's that. Uh, so, let's grab a bucket. We're going to need some logs as well. Uh, now, I don't believe, I don't believe the uh, rubber wood would work. I don't think anyways. But let's just grab one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna need three iron. And let's see, what else are we gonna need? We're gonna need a little bit more iron. 
Let's just grab two stacks of wood. And let's start making some of this stuff. So we need three pressure plates. And that for the tool rack. We'll get to that in a moment. Um, then we need to go grab a bucket of water. So we can go upstairs and do that. Right there. And bucket of water like so. There is a sink. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the sink there. Um, cooking table we're going to need. Uh, I guess it's an axe. So cooking table we're going to need. And I don't know if there's like a counter block, but um, we're going to need this guy, which requires uh, cooking for blockheads, which is literally just cooking a book. Um, pretty easy. Enderman, Enderman, I need to go kill the Enderman. Please still be there. Please still be there. I don't think he is. I think he despawned. Dang it. All right, well, hey, we got some armor. Uh, that's kind of nice. Dang it. There's an Enderman. He despawned. Um, I need an Enderman head. So, Osmium, what is bronze? Yeah, that's pretty old. Let's just throw that over the side. Um, but yeah, I've been collecting zombie heads. We've got eight now. Um, we're going to need a lot of zombie heads in the future. So, collecting them as we go is going to be really good. So we need to pop down, grab a book, and smelt it up. So that is pulverizing, so this is furnace only. There we go. So there is a recipe book. So cooking for blockheads is a really neat uh, mod when you have stuff like Pam's Harvest Craft, because this will show you, based on what you have in your inventory, what all you could craft. Now, if you wanted to actually craft things, uh, you take two diamonds and you make two workbenches. And then it's just something like so. And now, oops, it's this way. And now this book, if you have stuff in your inventory to craft things with, you can physically craft them so it's really nice now the reason why we're making this kitchen so uh this sink supplies water uh if we want a bucket of water we just go up to it right click and we get some water and some cool little visuals uh so what that means is this is an infinite water source we made the tool rack so that we can put tools on to uh whatever we want so that we can make things um, with the tools because what the kitchen allows you to do is a multi-block uh, system you can make a full kitchen and essentially it will allow you to craft and cook whatever you need whenever you want um, no problem so we need to make the cooking table which is some black stained clay which is hardened clay with some sort of black dye um, such as I believe pulverized coal will work um, but we are going to need the hardened clay. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll cook that up. And we have a bunch of the silicon. Uh, like I said, I can make that pretty easily with just um, whatever I want. But we only have 50 conduit binder. We're probably going to want a little bit more. Not much more, but a little bit. So there is the hardened clay. We come over here. And I forgot to grind up this guy. Pulverize coal. Should give us black stained clay. And now that, along with... We need some more wood. Five more wood. And pop back up here this and then our book will give us the cooking table so I can just go over here place that down and I wish I could put this like on these guys but I guess not 
I wonder if we make the fridge if we could. So the fridge is literally just an iron door and a chest. So I have plenty of iron. Let's get like, we need 12 iron for this. And I have wood on me so I can make two chests. One, two. Make the iron doors. And there we go, fridge. Uh, now this is a dialable block and it opens. You can store food in there. Um, you can actually add color to this and make it whatever color you want. But can we put this on the side? Nope. All right, um, let's just use the black stained clay. Do something like, whoa, too much, a little too much. Uh, the only bad thing about quartz, it is very pretty, but it breaks so easily. Uh, so I need to be careful. Uh, now eventually we'll have like, I'll have, we'll get a painting machine and all sorts of stuff, but uh, this can just go right here. Perfect. And there is our little kitchen. Um, now there's one other, we could make an oven. Uh, that allows you to smelt. Uh, and then that's it. Because uh, all this other stuff is other kitchen stuff. Um, but let's head back to over here. And I'm going to put that in there. Uh, we can grab, eh, we'll worry about that stuff later. Um, do we have a pot? We should. Unless I'm blind. Is it in here? Um, okay, so... This will make looking for it a little bit easier. Nope. Spot loaders. And no. Alright, um, so what we need to make then is a pot from um, Pam's Harvest Craft, which is right here. And it is literally just a stick and some iron. Uh, easy enough. So let's run back over here. We'll get our four iron and we'll get this taken care of. So uh, we're doing all of this just to get uh, access to salt a lot easier. Um, so what we can do now is just pop up here. We put that here. And for whatever reason, it likes to, to do that. Uh, that's a weird rendering bug but anyways it is there and now we can just uh shift click to to craft a stack and we can just craft as much salt as we want and it will never use anything other than um the block itself so what we can do now is pop down here um pick a slot back here and i think right here we're going to put a whole bunch of salt right there. And I'll go grab the rest of it. But now we can have basically as much salt as we could ever want. Um, all we have to do is go craft it every once in a while and it's that's it. Uh, so let's pop up here for a second. Get rid of... Nope, nope, not that. This stuff... And cool. So with that taken care of, we can start working on getting the inventory panels and all the fun stuff from that. Um, so the first thing we need to make, we're going to need to make at least two of these. Um, I think right now, for the time being, just to kind of demonstrate, I'll make more off camera, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, six. Um, we need that stuff and two of these and we'll just make oh i've got to make the ender eyes uh we'll make two remote awareness upgrades now the first one is actually going to go and we're going to have to use some blocks we're going to put it right underneath here 
Um, and it's going to be pretty easy to get in here and just put this right here. Um, so basically what this, uh, and then we also want to put the priority um, way up. So this allows the inventory panel to be to see this block. Um, so once we make the inventory panel, uh, you'll see what I mean. Uh, it's actually pretty, pretty easy. So uh, the next thing we need to do is make the inventory panel. So that is going to require um, four vibrant gears, which requires a lot of basic gears, and we're gonna need sticks. So I shouldn't have thrown the sticks back into the system, but we'll grab a stack of sticks and some iron and all this stuff. Uh, we're also going to need two emeralds, four, one, two, three, four, a um, bunch of lapis, and we're going to need these player cores from random things. We're going to need... See one two three four one two three four one two three four, one, two, three, four. and then all that to make the basic gears, and then I believe these get covered in iron, and get the iron gears, and then these get covered in uh, a vibrant or energetic alloy, and then we need the vibrant alloy, so. Those one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Perfect. So we have that. We have that. Uh, we're gonna need a bucket of the nutrient distillation. Uh, that is important. Uh, it also runs off of this stuff, so we'll have to make it every once in a while. But we made thirty-six buckets, thirty-five buckets, so that should be good enough for now. Um, now, what else are we gonna need? We're gonna need the vibrant crystals. One, two. And then the last thing we need is the sentient ender, which requires an enderman head, two solarium, um, two raw silicon, and uh, one of these. Uh, but otherwise, we can put this stuff back. Um, we need some solarium. And two of these. And I want to see if that one Enderman head will work. I don't think it will, but we can at least check. Because um, might as well. Uh, I have this guy. I don't believe this will work, but if it does, that's kind of awesome. We don't have to worry about things. Otherwise, we're going to have to get an Enderman head. Nope. Okay. It doesn't work. So we have two choices. We can either deal with that mess, which I don't really want to, um, or we could use this. So we have some witch water, and witch water can be used to make Enderman heads. Now here's the thing, we only really have one chance at this, so let's hope it works. Otherwise we could go to the end, and I don't really want to do that right now, so for five, we're going to make a creepy doll. So creepy dolls are porcelain dolls, which is porcelain clay, which is pretty easy. A diamond or an emerald, easy. Um, ink sacks, which is not so easy. Um, so we're going to have to grow this guy for a moment. Uh, let's just come over here. There's some water right here, and we have some dirt. Let's go ahead and put that down. Uh, oh! There's our pot. <laughs> Whoops. I thought I had one. I just didn't know where to look. I forgot about that chest, to be honest. Um, we need our mattock, which is over here. Very soon, we're not going to have to go through all these chests like that ever again. Uh, I'm going to pretty rapidly move things over there. Uh, and what I'm going to do is... Uh, you, you guys will see it very soon. Um, but basically... The... The whole idea is once we get access to uh, a decent number of um, the a remote image, a remote awareness, um, we can 
we can start seeing things uh, a little bit easier. And let's see, what are we gonna do? What do, what do we need? We need a watering can or some bone meal. But since I don't have bone meal over here, watering can it is. So this will just take a second. Um, but basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be setting up a bunch of chests, hooking them all up to our inventory panel and hooking that up to um, our storage drawers. And basically we're gonna have a network of everything. Um, and what that's gonna allow us to do is basically we can just start getting all of our inventories together. And it's it's a primitive style, um, it's, a, it's a very primitive like applied energistic system. Um, that's what it feels like anyways. So we need, I wanna just get some bone meal. It's gonna be easier. Uh, hopefully we get the skull, I mean we have what? A 60% chance, so one in two, more or less. Um, let's put, uh, let's get a little bit more than that. And actually we need, that's good. Uh, we can put the glowstone away and let's see what else we're going to need. We're going to need a emerald. Um, we're going to need two lapis, redstone, and then um, nether wart, which I believe is back here. Yes, we have a good bit of nether wart, so uh, really none of this stuff is that difficult for us to acquire. Um, it's just going to be a pain. Uh, now, I do also want to grab a bucket um, because that's going to make my life a little bit easier. Because uh, I want to move the witch water. Uh, so basically, to summon an enderman, you make this creepy doll and you use witch water. Wait, bone meal doesn't work on it? Oh no. Okay. That's fine. Um, let's grab the watering can. I have like so many stacks of bone meal. Uh, um, whoops. Don't I have like fertility? Uh, what are the they called? Yeah, these guys. Amulets of Fertility. We can just put that on and should go really fast once we uh, start watering it as well. But yeah, so once we get the Enderman Skull, uh, that'll make my life a lot easier. We can then start working on getting... Um, the inventory panel and then we'll set that up a little bit um so what i am going to do off camera is i have a lot of chests sitting around i'm going to make a bunch of diamond chests and i'm going to hook them up to the system and uh we might make one more uh what's it called the thing that does the thing uh remote inventory awareness upgrades we might make one more of those just so that we can uh so i can demonstrate how it works uh, so let's see, something like that. Porcelain doll, redstone, two lapis, and then um, we're gonna need ink sacks, which is why I got the dye essence. And there we go. So there's the creepy doll. We throw these back away. Um, I'm gonna grab the bucket of witch water. We're gonna turn that on, break this, and we're gonna come over here, set it down nice and open. Oh, it's raining. Okay, so that's... Okay, that's weird. It's raining, but it's not... Those are all zombies. Alright, so we'll go down there. Um to do this. Hopefully this works nicely. So put that there, put the witch water in there, and then you put the creepy doll in there. Uh, now it will take a couple of minutes to do anything. Um, so let's empty out that. Uh, so kind of what the plan is, how are we doing on that? That's 
going. Um, kind of what the plan is, is once we get access to um, basically any of the time we have these pipes going anywhere, uh, we can connect everything. So we'll just run this down and around to the center. Um, and that will allow us to get uh, access to basically everything. And then I'm just going to need to filter things and all that kind of stuff. If it's on extract, it doesn't matter. But if it's on insert, I'm going to want to make sure that it cannot go anywhere. And we got the intermittent skull, skull. Awesome. So we don't have to worry about it. We'll worry about getting more of those later. Um, let's pick this guy up. So now that we have that, we have the res the ender resonator. We put that in there with a witch, plus some levels, and we get the sentient ender. Uh, and then that is what we use over here to get everything we need. So sentient ender, um, oh, the awareness, the the vibrant crystals and that makes the inventory panel so awesome we have it now uh that is that is key so i'm gonna clean up the inventory just a little bit we don't need the cleaver right now and don't need that we'll keep the key on us uh so the thing that we need to do um Let's grab Is this almost empty. It's not too bad. Let's grab this one uh, just to kind of demonstrate and We are just gonna go over here and we're gonna place this guy right here So um, first thing we need to do is We need to pop down here and get rid of this block uh, we need, let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one of these, one of these, and one of these. And we come back here, and we're going to grab all of our item conduits that we have, which we don't have many. We'll have to make some more. Um, but I can kind of demonstrate this a little bit. So conduit binder, I have ender, that, and silicon makes the awareness. Um, and then we're going to need, let's see, we'll bring that up like so, and I don't know what's going to be the best way to get that anywhere, but uh, we'll worry about, how can we make this, by the way? Um, pulsating iron. So let's get like as much of this as we have. And we get two pulsating irons. That'll be good. We can then uh, go ahead and make a bunch more item conduits because these things are going to be useful for everything. Um, we can hook into this, like, uh, actually, let's just go this way. Uh, I went way too far. Cool. And we'll break these. Um, this guy will be disabled. And we'll break these. Um, yeah. The <laughs> quartz breaks way too easily. Um, now, part of the reason I want... And then we'll have over here... We'll put a gold chest and these will also have cables and we'll run it this way all right and And down. Uh, so if we put remote awareness in here, and we're gonna have this um, extract. Now, unfortunately, because it's hooked up to everything else, we need to 
We need to do some stuff with the... Actually, no. These aren't doing anything because I don't think I have... Those are dust. Um, these go in here. I don't think I have them yet. Sand. Yeah, so... That and that. Uh, so, that that's a thing. Um, I need to check these every once in a while make sure that they're empty. But, so this is on extract. And what we'll do is we'll put this cobblestone right there. So, um, we just bring this up to eye level. And we hook up the inventory panel. Now, it's not actually going to work until we get this guy hooked up behind it. And we're just going to put it right there. Uh, and then we need to go grab... Um, I need the fluid conduit stuff, which is probably over here. I believe it's in my like to-do chest that just became a junk chest. Uh, so, let's see. Ender fluid conduits. That'll work. Now, this is going to be the fun thing. So... Um, what we can do is we'll just attach that there and then that there. Uh, extract always active. Insert. So now this is live. So we can look at literally everything we have. Um, we can search by name. So if I want some conduit, uh, there is all of our redstone conduit. And here's the thing. If I put this in here. Um, we need to configure this correctly. This needs to be on insert, in, out, always active. So now if we look at conduit, we have two in the system, and it is right down here. So here's the other thing. Um, I can see if I look up... Uh, cobblestone we have one cobblestone but that's not in our main system that's in the other system so I can throw this stuff in here and it will return to where it belongs so um, we might even be able to see if we are quick nope okay um, but the other thing doesn't know where to go so I think what I can do is if I put this on in out and set the priority to negative one uh, we'll grab those and we'll we'll deal with those. Um, if I take one of these, this is this is the cool part, uh, and I put it over here. Um, let's grab this and let's see. One, two, three. I put that there, and we lock it. It's going to fill back up with everything that's in here. So what we can do, and what that means, is um, basically as I bring stuff over, we're going to hook it up. Uh, all the chests will be hooked up here. They'll be. Uh, I'll make sure they're all diamond chests, and um, pretty much anything excess that doesn't fit in there will go in there. Now I believe this is also hooked up to that over there. So that's something. Um, we'll probably want to fix, um, but that's, actually, uh, I think that'll be okay. So it can also see what's ever in here. But the thing is, is this guy is an extract only, and everything else isn't, I need to turn my magnet off, uh, everything else isn't gonna, like, go anywhere, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, the only time it's going to be a problem is if something overflows. So I'm going to need to make a bunch of um, a bunch of things to, to kind of fix that. Uh, so a uh, bunch of the void upgrades. That's what I'm talking about. So what we can do is I can actually put that in there and that, that should have went right here. And it did. So 
that I think is unfortunately going to be it. We will get to the uh, experience obelisk probably next time. We'll make that. Uh, and I'm going to start moving things over. And now we have a primitive a, uh, a planet logistic system, but uh, still something that's going to allow me to basically bring everything over. Uh, I'm also going to get Terra Steel so that we can start getting Zavisio. And we might look into, I don't know, we might do some quests. Uh, it's been a while since we've kind of just sat down and done quests, so that might be um, on the to-do list. So, yeah, um, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!